September the 1st, 2023. Members of the ship's company aboard Royal Navy's aircraft carrier HMS Prince of Wales lie on the deck of Britain's largest aircraft carrier as she sets sail for exercises off the US. She's once again in operations 12 months after she hit the headlines when she broke down just a few miles into a similar trip across the Atlantic. Prince of Wales, Ha! First Sea Lord, Chief of Naval Staff. Today the carrier is embarking with a small fleet of helicopters from 820 Squadron flying Merlin Mark II submarine Hunter an 825 Squadron flying the Wildcat helicopter Maritime Attack Mark II and a crew of over 700 sailors. She will launch fixed-wing aircraft during her voyage but they will not be British. It's important I briefly go back 12 months to find out what happened to this giant ship. In September 2022 the broken 3 billion 65,000 tonne warship was brought under tow to the Babcock shipyard where she was built in Rosyth, Scotland to undergo engineering inspections and repairs. In dry dock, Babcock engineers identified damage to the starboard shaft coupling and subsequently identified a defect in the carrier's port shaft, repairs which had taken nine months to complete. A subsequent report on the findings of Prince of Wales propulsion system failure concluded the incorrect installation of key components resulting in the issue. It was also revealed HMS Prince of Wales also received significant capability enhancements while in dry dock. Before the carrier left British territorial waters, a pilotless plane was flown on and off her deck for the first time. The drone made the trip from the Lizard Peninsula and onto the deck of HMS Prince of Wales off the Cornish coast. Delivered supplies then flew back in a milestone flight which may point the way to the future of naval aviation. The goal is to deploy heavy lift drones with UK Carrier Strike Group in the future, use them to transfer stores and supplies such as mail or spare parts between ships without the need to launch helicopters. This will keep the high-tech Merlins and Wildcats free for operational sorties such as hunting hostile submarines or surface vessels that are threats to the carrier strike group. Here, HMS Prince of Wales moors Pierside at Naval Station Norfolk in Virginia. The ship, hosted by carrier strike group 10 and USS George H.W. Bush, will make Naval Station Norfolk its temporary home port as it conducts aviation operations off the east coast. The day before reaching Naval Station Norfolk, US Marines with Marine Medium Tilt Rotor Squadron VMM365 landed MV-22B Ospreys on HMS Prince of Wales. This was while the Queen Elizabeth class aircraft carrier near the coast of North Carolina. The MM365 Squadron conducted carrier qualifications aboard HMS Prince of Wales to maintain pilot and crew readiness and to showcase cooperation with allies and partners. The HMS Prince of Wales headed to Naval Station Norfolk for supplies and welcome on board the Taxon River F-35 Integrated Test Force and elements from Air Test and Evaluation Squadron 2-3. This highly experienced American team will conduct weapon load trials. US weapon handlers will load an F-35B Lightning II to its maximum capacity to deliver 22,000 pounds of ordnance. Loaded with a combination of inert 1,000 pound paveway 5 laser guided bombs and the inert 1,000 pound paveways in the weapons bay and on every pylon the United States Air Force has a name for it, Beast Mode. HMS Prince of Wales aircraft handlers will launch the aircraft during the test flights.
Although the superb demonstration of flying was the first ship-borne rolling vertical landing aboard HMS Prince of Wales, it wasn't actually the first F-35B to land on her deck. The honour for the first ever F-35B Lightning II landing and takeoff on the carrier was squadron leader Will of the Chill 7 Squadron RAF on 8th of June 2021. It could be quite a while before we see the HMS Prince of Wales operating her own squadrons of F-35B. But these trials at least bring that date closer. <laughs>